Hi, I'm Scott, and today I'm going to show you how I installed this exterior door today on Dad It Yourself. Come on inside, I'll show you. All right, so here's today's project. You see a crawl well right there, and if you look closely, you can see some studs through the blocking space. There's actually a frame behind this siding for a man door into the crawl space, which actually the customer is hoping to use for additional storage space and maybe someday a basement, man cave, rec room, or whatever. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in an exterior steel door here. I'm inside here. Lighting's a little bit off, but hopefully you guys can see. So there's the header right there. Double jack and king studs all built in. Got uh, two layers of pressure treated on both sides of the, the opening. I'll be able to pull one of those back for the door. But there it is. So let's get started. So I'm going to start by measuring my rough opening. For this door I need an opening that's about 32 inches wide and 83 inches tall and that will give me enough room to center the door and plumb it up nicely. Okay, so after a lot of cussing and swearing and tearing and pushing and pulling, I was able to get everything out of this opening and get it to its maximum width. And what I have here, pretty much concrete to concrete, 33 inches and I need 31 and 5 eighths. So that'll fit in here nicely, I'll be able to shim that up use some tap cons in the bottom and some regular wood screws in the top to plumb this door up. Let's get this door in, uh, get it fitted, and see how it goes.
Okay, so I have the door kind of in the opening. Uh, and filter makes it look like there's a lot more light coming through. There really isn't. But just based on the opening I have here, I'm going to have to pad this side, the hinge side, and the uh, latch side out with three-quarter inch plywood just to be able to shim it a little easier. But that shouldn't be a big deal. I have plenty of it here. Maybe put a piece up here top by the header too. Okay, let me do that. So I've got the hearth nice and clean. I'm going to lay a liberal uh, bead of silicone based latex caulk to keep the water out of this crawl space. And that'll be underneath the threshold. Here we go. <laughs> yep. Oh, it's so close. Yep, there it is. All right, the lighting's terrible here, so it's kind of hard to show you. But as you can see, I got my shims down here with a tap con into the concrete. And then up here, shims at the door lock with 18 gauge two and a halfs right there. And then up here at the top, another shim with a three inch Torx. Squaring that up, holding that top level. And then on the back here, hard to see in the dark, but more shims with another three and a quarter or three and a half uh, Torx head. And then down, shims, 18 gauge nails holding those in place. And then there's a shim in there, it's already broke off with the tap con through it into the concrete. This door's nice and square. I got a nice clean reveal and it opens and closes nice. So uh, let me go ahead and cut off these uh, shims and go ahead and start foaming around this door, seal it up. Okay, so the brick molding doesn't come even with the concrete because of the siding on the house. But I got this piece of batten here. I'm gonna stick that down in here. There's spray foam in here to seal this joint up. And we'll just get that in there like that. And I'll just throw a couple of brads in it to hold it in place.
Here we go. Nothing finishes a job off like a little caulking. So the last step is to install this doorknob and a deadbolt. This is an intermediate level DIY project that most homeowners can tackle if they follow the instructions by the door manufacturer and the doorknob manufacturer and understand basic construction principles. The cool part about this doorknob, it uses the quick set smart key technology and they'll be able to key this to match the existing locks in their house and won't have to have a locksmith come in. If you have any comments or suggestions, put those down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you subscribe, hit that bell for notifications. I've got some videos over here you may be interested in. Subscribe button's right over there. Thanks for watching. Dad it yourself.